Welcome to Streamline News for Tuesday, March 8, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. The British Nationals is serving as the country's major selection meet for the World Championships, and though only a maximum of two swimmers will be selected for each event, the procedure is not as simple as touching the wall first or second. The person who finishes first in Olympic events must swim faster than the FINA A standard in, quarter, in order to qualify for Worlds. Now, the person who touches second must also swim faster than the A standard, but additionally must swim faster than the 16th place time in the world in last October's rankings. If there are more places available on the world team after this meet, those spots can be filled at the British Nationals in June using the same qualifying criteria. Now, with that out of the way, let's get to the action from yesterday's finals. Carrie Ann Payne had the crowd on its feet as she broke the British national record in the 1500 freestyle with a 1606-67. The old record of 1614.70 by Rebecca Cook had stood since 2003. The women swim the 1500 at Worlds, but under British selection policy, Payne must qualify for the world team in the 800 freestyle in order to swim the 1500 in Shanghai since the 1500 is not an Olympic event for women. Ross Davenport and Robbie Winrick battled through 200 meters of freestyle for a place on the world's roster, with Davenport placing first in 148.34. Winrick, who missed out on making the world team in the 400 on Saturday, swam a 148.52. That time is faster than the FINA A cut, but not faster than the 16th place world ranking of 147.82, so Winrick will use the June Nationals as a second chance meet in the 200 and 400 freestyles. Gemma Spofforth won the 100 back in 100.52, just ahead of rival Elizabeth Simmons' 101.16. Spofforth has been training in Britain and Australia for the past few months as she awaits word on green card approval to return to the United States to train with longtime coach Martin Wilby. Liam Tancock posted the fastest 100 back of 2011 with the 53.44. Tancock is the, fat, is the world record holder in the 50 back and has never won in a world or Olympic medal in the 100 distance. He told media in Britain that he wasn't fully rested for the swim. Today's swimming will include the women's 200 free final, which will feature Rebecca Adlington, Jazz Carlin, and Joanne Jackson, in addition to Hannah Miley, all looking to make the world team in the 200 free and put up a cumulative time that will qualify the 800 free relay for Worlds. The men's 100 free semifinals will feature Adam Brown, who will be swimming in the men's NCAA championships for Auburn in two weeks, and Simon Burnett, the Commonwealth Games silver medalist from last year. Tancock will also swim for a spot in the finals. Michael Rock will swim for a chance to race Michael Phelps in Shanghai in tonight's 200 fly final. Rock is one of the people on a short list of swimmers who looks to challenge Phelps at the world championships in the 200 fly. The 156.26 Rock posted in yesterday's semifinals is the third fastest in the world right now. And we'll bring you a full recap of tonight's finals from Manchester on SwimmingWorld.com. Our thanks to British Swimming for bringing us footage from the meet in, in Manchester, and thanks for watching today's edition of Streamline News. We'll see you next time.